Hello everybody and welcome to the show. We're coming back tonight or today with Decoy versus Face Clan. This will be the start of a pretty good stream. Uh with me today is Demon. What's up? Sorry, I just noticed a couple of the uh people have been sending me these uh animated logos. Uh dude, I and... love those. They have uh, audio tracks, so I just realized I had to mute the audio tracks real quick. But we should be good on everything else. How do you get those into your stream? Because I know a lot of times I, I put them <clears> as a <throat> GIF so it doesn't actually have um, sound. I just add them in as media attachments. Oh, okay. Or media files. Yeah, I haven't had to mess with them on Streamlabs yet. I know on OBS when I did it, I would just add it in as a GIF. Because then it would let it play, but it wouldn't have sound. Uh, well, I don't, they may not have sound, but since it's a media file, it gives them a, uh, audio uh, spot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just mute them just in case. All right, guys, so, uh, tried to get live a little bit earlier today than normal. Um, I know we're still going to be a little later than 12, but these guys said they needed about three or four more minutes just to get a couple extra players in. Looks like we're starting out on Sand River. Uh, Decoy has banned Artie. Um, Face Clan, Virtue Blick has banned the Bat Chats. <laughs> what maps did they ban? Face Clan oh. banned Cliff. And Decoy banned yeah, Ghost Town. Yeah. I'm surprised by that. Isn't Doesn't Decoy normally really like Ghost Town? Um, I don't know. Uh, I saw Gambit say something about he did not like attack or defense on ghost town the other night in a mass chat so they yeah i not, think uh they 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 rather have played encounter than NBA. so i don't know i think he mentioned something that was with the immortals decoy match about uh yeah. like defense is cursed or something yeah 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 that's it it was cursed i i, I just got kicked what <laughs> oh i got banned Oh no. Um I believe he was trying to kick the random I think, above you. I think so. <laughs> that, that is really unfortunate. <laughs> oh no. Uh all right, well, uh, we might get a new room. That kind of sucks, because that's a, a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh. <laughs> Amy, why are you such a problem today? I'm always a problem. Guys, don't forget, we are on that road to 1,000. We're at 980. Uh, it's so close. All right, sounds like I need to make 20 more accounts real quick. One sec. Yeah, go do that. At least it looks like they all got into the room re relatively quick, though. Yeah, I mean, everybody's here. He's just going to have to, like, spread the team out again. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, preferences. So it's actually been a bit since I've uh, seen Decoy play. Um, so they got a few guys in here I don't actually know. They've definitely uh, they've definitely got some new names showing up. Um, Sidetrack Dan. Uh, well, Sidetrack Dan's the only one that I haven't. I don't think I've seen yet. But everybody else, um, pretty normal. Yeah, so like, I see Immortal Pharaoh coming back. I was gonna say I don't think I've seen Louis Immortal Pharaoh or Sidetrack. I've seen Sidetrack Dan in public matches. I don't think uh -oh. I've ever seen him in a comp match. What? Takito has entered the room. Oh God. Um, no, I've never seen. I've seen Louis. I think Louis more of their EU side. Versus oh, okay. Probably you've seen him more on NA. Uh, and I think Immortal Pharaoh is just now coming back from break. I haven't uh, haven't seen him in a while, but he's old. Sure. 
It yeah, is like... face, not phase. Uh, flash. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, guys. Yeah, I can't say too much about uh, OO or Face Clan because I think I've only either streamed or watched them play two or three times. Oh, they can, they can. Uh... I, I do know they are very good. Yeah. When they're hitting, they are hitting. So, uh, I think we might be ready. Tank picks are coming up. Guys, don't forget, after this matchup at 18.30, we will be going to one versus Raisin. And then uh, after that, we'll be going over to the Wealth of the Hill versus Corruption. You just have a bunch of good lineups, Matt, for today. Oh, yeah. Man. Like, I, I got some fire matchups for Lotus today. And then uh, after Lotus, we're kicking straight off into Battlegrounds, semifinals, and championships. So, like, it once in a blue day. moon, all the matches line up like that. Too. It just lined up, man. I've been trying to get a setup like this for so long. Like, I tried a few weeks ago, and it just didn't work out. Um, Like, I ended up with, like, two late matches, but nobody scheduled for like the 18 or 1900 slot. Uh, so I ended up with like a 20 and 2100 slot. It was so weird how nobody scheduled for earlier in the day, which I think that was before Lotus happened. Right before Lotus started. But wow. today just lined up perfectly, man. <laughs> Seems like it. I seen, I seen this one super early. Then I seen, you know, hey, I got a thirty minute buffer between this one and the one match. I was like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and I will give a little bit of a heads up. There is a possibility corruption. Welcome to hell may, uh, may be forfeited. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, we'll just run some pubs until time for Cold War Battleground. Well, what time is the corruption one? Um, 19.30, so... Like, four, three, three or four o'clock? Yeah. 3.30 Eastern. But Bama will be joining us um, for the one Raisin match also. Oh, we nice. can have a full house today. You know, I've never been on stream with Bama before. Seriously? Every time I've tried to get Bama in one of my streams, he's always busy. <laughs> well, he is a busy guy. Sorry, I know it's a little late, but I'm going to throw the, the cover up because we're having some uh, party issues. Hmm. Dude, can we get a shout out to Bozo Gaming for the follow? Thank you, Bozo. That is uh, 981 on the follows. It might be Bazo. I'm not quite sure how to properly say it. Yeah, now that I look over, I see it. Yeah, it's Bazo. Bazoo. Bazoo. <laughs> Man, I won't lie. I was playing yesterday. I kind of play, was playing a little sweaty for once because I had found out midstream a couple days ago that my T54 was at 98%. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've never seen you post about that. I got it to 99, and then I got no, capped no. on within three minutes, three times in a row. Oh, <laughs> what did it drop to? 98.8, and I got it back to 99 the next, oh, after that. Bad. I rebought it. Are you playing the lot weight? Is it the lot weight, or is it the T54? Medium? The T54. <laughs> in public matches, I just it is that. a beast. It is a beast in public matches. I just bought that back. Day, like before the stream. Oh, okay. And then uh, I was actually... I was in a Go ahead. Go for it. I was gonna say I was in a party with some guys and they were playing it in pubs and uh they were saying like it felt slower and stuff. I was like, man, I don't even remember the last time I played it, so I bought it just to look at the uh the years on it and I haven't played it since year three of the game. So oh, like uh... six years. Like, I don't feel like it's any slower than it used to be. I think it's the fact that all the new mediums that have come out uh, just kind of beat it out speed-wise, so it feels slow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, guys, so uh, everybody is picking up. Oh, 
go ahead and uh, take the cover off. Man, we've got a full house out here. Jeff Wadco. Wizzy out in chat. No, I've missed so many people. Barcode. Uh, thanks to everybody coming out. Netflix, first time chatter. Leo, Julian, Munich, Viking, Endzone. Man, a lot of people came out today for these matches. All right, here we go for round one. Over on the decoy side, they're coming out with double Chieftain, the I-7, the Marat, double CS-63, and the LT. And our face clan, they have two Chieftain MK6s, an IS-7, an E-50M, a CS-63, a T-100, and an STRV. Uh, sounds good. Let's see, uh, see what happens here. Now, uh, are they going to put the stir over in the K0 area? Um, I don't, it doesn't look like they are. I, I am kind of, I was kind of wondering about this E50M pick. Yeah, I mean, we've been seeing a lot of Brigettos or T60s, uh, 60 TPs for the, uh, tier 9, or the 9 point thing. Yeah, like, in, in reality, for what you want, you know, obviously medium, you want stealth, mobility, camo, and E50M doesn't really do that. <laughs> Um, 60, I, was one of those tanks I thought was weird as 9 points, but I can understand why it is. Yeah. Alright, so Airstorm is getting now lit here. Um, not spotting up Mad Max in the dip there. Kind of shocked by that. I wonder... That one little bush. Ooh, Bonfire coming in very close to the stir right there. Multiple going right over him. <clears throat> Alright, here comes JJ on a little bit of a spotting run up the center. Leap gets lit and takes a hit. Ooh. A little bit of a hash around from Destroyer, I believe. Yeah, so just a little bit of training. Oop, Airstorm does come into the city. He does get JJ lit. JJ gonna have to book it. Bleep missed his shot. Oh, but Takito does get, get one. Another hash shout from Destroyer into <clears throat> Takito. Oh, JJ dodging. Oh, but he takes one from Airstorm right when he gets safe. Yeah, definitely got out of there better than but he probably should have. All right, looks like these meds of, well, I thought Dequip was gonna start moving up. Gambit is pushing a little bit more in that CS. And Dip's trying to push under these Chieftain guns, but the Strev is just getting shot after shot into him. Well, the Shrew takes a shot. Now Gambit did get Mad Max a little bit over there in that zero area. Keep taking another hit from Destroyer. Let me get a prediction up real quick. Takes another one. He's under half health and I seven now. Has a few tanks covering him. As long as the C fifty and T one hundred. Ooh. I seven end a dip right there. And Bob takes a hit from destroyer, I believe. Keep taking a double tap. 
goes down. Oh, dip down to one. Oh, he goes down. Good shot from the straw. Uh, Sidetrack Dan. Kind of out in the middle of it. Everywhere. JJ getting some good farm into him. Oh, but Takito, Takito lights him and gets a shot. JJ going to have to back down and start getting out of there. Alright, they get sidetracked Dan out. Hey, bot, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate that. Alright, Randy takes a shot from Taquito. Taquito's just trying to put as much damage as he can from over there in that fork. Yeah, he is entirely being ignored right now. Yeah, alright, they're going in. They're just going to full seed Airstorm here. Airstorm gets caught on fire in the focus. Airstorm is out instantly. Yeah, there's a massive HP difference and tank difference at this point. Yep. Bob is going to get focused out. Bob. Yeah, man, Antiquito getting a double shot into Randy. Yeah. Alright, looks like, uh, what are we going to see here? Looks like Destroyer is going to be back in, uh, Start five to keto. Looks like the LTI seven, maybe the E50M are going to start pushing Gambit and Face Clan. Just going to clean it up here. They're going to get the first victory of the day. Gambit goes down, and Takito is just left holding it down up here. Takes a hash round from Destroyer right there. I kind of want to know how many hash shells Destroyer has loaded because I don't <laughs> think he shot anything but hash yet. Takito bounces last round and Destroyer takes him down. Okay. Over on uh, Face Clan, you have Destroyer and the Chieftain MK6 with 2 kills, 4,011 damage. MZ5T in the SDRV with 1 kill, 2371. Nexus in the Chieftain MK6 with 2 kills, 2238. Jaja ja in the T100 with 1808. Add in the CS with 1 kill 1611. Legend in the IS7 with 1 kill 1196. And Randy in the E50M with 1165. Alright, sent over on decoy. Uh, Takedo coming out on top in that sheep in 2773. Bob in the Marat with 1510. Gambit in the CS 761. Airstorm in the LT 571. And Sidetrack Dan with 386 out of his uh, CS. Unfortunately, Dip and Felipe just not getting anything in there. I want to point out, Destroyer blocked almost 3,000 damage at the same time. He did a great job using his armor. Nice. Right Go Destroyer, man. No. His gameplay right there is a perfect example of, you know, if you don't have a penable shot, just throw HE or Hesh. Get some damage in. It adds up eventually. Alright, looks like Decoy ready to go on defense here. I mean, they are almost already picked up. Ooh. Uh, well, I was going to say face clean, bringing out the big guns here, but uh, double Prigetto. I kind of like it, to be honest. Yeah, the Prigetto isn't quite a bad chat, but, you know, everybody knows the turret on the Prigetto does like to bounce shots. Alright, over on uh, Decoy, they're coming out with Double Chieftain IS-7s, uh, the Marat Double CS-63, and the T-100 LT. 
on uh, Face Clan, you have Double Chieftain, Double Progetto, CS, T100, and Tron. Uh, so where those uh, where those Progettos go? Oh, that's right, that's right. Isn't the Tehran a 12-point tank? Yes, Tehran and Dardy are the only two 12-points, I believe. I forgot. I was thinking 11 points. That's why I was kind of wondering why double Progetto, but Tehran is 12. Not bad. Yeah. Got my numbers mixed up. I was thinking 11. All right, so it looks like Deke we going to go kind of a normal defensive setup here. Yeah, this doesn't look, uh, ooh, already shots already going in destroyer though. Down to half health. Oh! All right, both Chieftains taking some damage. Tron did try to bonfire, he gets lit. Oh, backs up just quick enough to get missed. Now destroyer. I don't know if he's just gonna hold there. If he tries to cross and get below Taquito, he's gonna be in trouble from this. Yes, Murat. Yeah, he's gotta know it's not gonna be possible for him. The Murat alone could kill him before he makes the cross. Oh, Progetto is coming in on dip, though. Oh, oh. Now's dip been lit. I've been watching the other side of the map. I don't believe he has. Already getting a good now. shot into one of them. Ambit helping out. Oh, yeah. All right, JJ pushed up. Can you use those rocks for some cover? Get a little bit of support from the other side. Now, they're going to take dip out, but these Progettos are going to pay for it. Judge, I might go down. JJ... Oh, oh, I thought he was going to make it. He bounced the first shot, but the second Chieftain getting the kill. Legend stuck. Oh, no, he gets double tapped by the oh. Chieftains as well. That rock just not big yeah. enough. He backs up, gets hit by Gambit, taken out by the Chieftains. That was perfect fire from Decoy there, just making sure no matter where he went, he couldn't get away. Nope. Randy taking a hit from uh, Bob. Ooh, Airstorm might run into a problem. MZ misses, Airstorm hits him. I think it was uh, Philippe got another shot into him. Oh, oh man, I don't know. Ooh. I think Airstorm probably takes him out here. Uh, he stopped right there. I don't know if he stopped or got, he tracked, got tracked, but yeah, he does. Air I was a little caught up in the air. I couldn't tell. Now it's just down to these two chieftains and the CES and light on the other side. Now they are going to have a double, uh, a, you know, a little advantage over there on Gambit. I don't know if Takito, yeah, Takito's getting shots in on Rundy right there. All right, looks like Decoy just got to push in and get these chieftains out of the game. Destroyer already down to a one shot. Oh, left him on one HP. Gambit getting full sent by another by the CS in the light over here. Oh, gets one more shot off into Felipe. Felipe going to be on fire. Gambit now goes down. Get Gambit. Mad, Mad, and the Randy are both down to six hundred. <laughs> Ash God, if you said anything else but that, I would be shocked. Ash is best. <laughs> Ash is best. Alright, he does take a shot. Oh, and he's gonna go down. 
believe that was to electricity. I really, I really can't wait till we get a kill feed back in the game. Yeah, that would be nice. Normally, I just look for whoever's on reload. Yeah, but there was like three people on reload. Oh. <laughs> I believe it was electricity though. He had the lowest. All right, Mad Max down to a one shot. Bob gonna push in, but misses and goes on reload. Electricity should. Oop, nope, Philippe got it. All right, we're tied back up a one for one. Oh, all right, and over on the uh, base clan, you have Mad in the CS with one kill, 35-30. Nexus in the Chieftain with 17-65. Legend in the Progetto 65 with one kill, 13-75. Destroyer in the Chieftain MK6 with 11-94. JJ in the Progetto with 6-79. Uh, Rundy in the T100 with 6-38. And MZ in the Tehran wasn't able to get any shots, got spotted immediately trying to get no good angle. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Uh, over on Decoy, Bob coming out on top, and then Marat, one kill, 35-47. Uh, Philippe in the Chieftain, two kills, 22-83, or 84. Uh, Takedo in the Chieftain, two kills, 21-38. Gambit in the CS, 2094 with 2094 assisted. Huh. Uh, Electricity in the CS, one kill, 17 -16. One airstorm in the LT, one kill, 985 with 2637 spotted, and dip in the I 794. All right, we are going to move on to steps. Oh, guys, are we going to have it hit that? Go ahead. Oh, sorry, no, you. I was going to say, guys, uh, if you haven't hit that follow button already, please do. We're at 982, we're so close to hitting a thousand. And say, are we gonna see a 60 go down mid road? <laughs> <laughs> Look, who, who did stream yesterday? It was uh, AS versus TMW, man. There was uh, so many fights on that mid road. I <laughs> sevens, everything, everything got sent down middle road. Yeah, like, hey. I personally love steps. I, I do too. I love watching steps. Hey, Sassy, welcome to the stream. Jack, Ave out in chat. LSWV, welcome, welcome. Shoot blank. Glad you guys could make it. It's just such a good open ended map. Like, you can play it with a bunch of mediums. You can play it with only heavies and a TD. You can play it with oh, a yeah. light without it. Like, there's so many different ways to play this map attack and defense. Yeah, I think Steps is one of my favorite maps. Wait until they remaster it, and it's an entirely different map, and now nobody knows how to play it. <laughs> Hopefully they don't move the, uh, <laughs> the bases. I think they should just both be in the same spot. That seems to be the motto, recently. Did, uh, I never looked. Did, uh, I know they brought, uh, Forge back in. <laughs> You don't want to add... see Forge NBA. <laughs> you don't want to see that. But they do that. have it. They do have yes. NBA mode. Yeah, so one of the NBAs is the spawn uh, by the plateau on the bottom right. Uh-huh. So it's literally just in an open field. There's no cover from any direction. Ooh. Um, and then the other one is in the middle of the town right next to that, in a spot where you can drop down a little cliff, and there's only one angle of fire on you, and it's from the other cap. Yeah, I have not checked that out. All right, well, here we go. Steps over on the decoy side. Uh, they're coming out with double chieftain, double I7, Marat, CS, and the LT. Over on the face clan, you have uh, chieftain MK6, super conquer, an IS7, an E50M, a TS63, a T100, and STRV. Nice, nice. All right, two seconds. Battle. Here, I got a question for you. Uh, what's your opinion on the difference between a Super Conquer and a Chieftain? Um... I, I mean, you're asking which I prefer, or... Like, do you see much of a difference between the two tanks, other than obviously one's faster and one's got a little I bit mean, more health? I feel like the Chieftain's better, personally, because the Super Conquer sets up higher and I believe is more of a target. It's lower, yeah. and I just, I think it's got a little bit on the, uh... I think the Chieftain has a little bit better reload. I just like the Chieftain. 
overall better. See, I never, like, yeah, we normally pick Chieftains in US can, uh, mostly because mobility generally d dictates games. But I do know there are some maps where, like, Super Conquer can only get a shot. Like, the Chieftain sits too low and wouldn't be able to get the angle it needs. Um, yeah, I could see that too. Um, I don't know, it's been kind of a weird, weird history. Like, you know, the, Chief, the Conqueror came in, took over for the E5, and then uh, the Chieftain kind of came in, replaced it, then the Chieftain, I think, got nerfed or something, so everybody went back to the Conqueror. And then the Valor and everything came in the game, and the Super Conqueror kind of got retired again. Ooh, Taquito's taking a shot. Good, good snap right there for, for Destroyer. Ooh, Airstorm taking a hit. Oh, was that JJ? Uh, yeah. Or he JJ gets, oh, he's, hit him. he's down to half. Oh, if he got double tapped by somebody. I don't know if he got double tapped or if he fell off something, because it didn't look like more than one shot came in. Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing there for him to fall off of, I wouldn't think. I don't know. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Looks like Airstorm going to try to play a little bit with the cap early on here. JJ yeah, on the like, move to come spot him up. Like, I, I really like this play, to be honest, because this is either going to force them to push this light up, r risk the light. Ooh, but Airstorm. He's going to oh, make it out. Probably just holding. Unfortunately, you did not get your 60 TP up this road. I know. We got a chieftain instead. Fair enough. So everybody kind of, kind of slowing their roll a little bit, playing a little more passive now. Looks like Decoy is rotating everybody up north. Probably getting ready to push tracks. If I had to guess. Ooh, Airstorm gets lucky. Jaja ja bounces off his track at last second. He might get the shot here. Oh, he does! Nice. Alright, that's going to make it a little tougher on Decoy. JJ does take a shot in return, though. I've just bounced a blind flyer from somebody. Alright, uh, we gotta push track. Alright, they are up and over. Shots going in, Nexus does take one. Ooh, Gambit takes a couple shots trying to get over tracks right there. Now, there, there's probably a reason why Gambit took that path and keep the guns off the heavies, let them get up to that IS-7 a little bit healthier. Strive the other half to health. Well, these IS-7s for decoy are getting chewed up, though. Strive is bouncing shots like crazy. That was Nexus. Neither of them have taken a hit. Like, four shots have bounced off both of them at this point. Oof, Immortal, Immortal Barrel down to one shot. Now, the Strive does go down. Get down low. Dip trying to push up. He takes a shot, goes down to one shot. Right, Nexus, Nexus is down. down Dip should have him on reload or can't be here one. Dip gets it. Right, but that was a very, very costly push. I mean, they did get two tanks out of the game, but... Like, health-wise, yeah, they lost a lot, but they did keep every gun in the game, so...
shots, trading back and forth. Nobody, everybody just kind of calming down after that exchange. But it's like taking a breather real quick. I think uh, they're waiting for Dip to get the Strev body up up a little bit further so he can peek and not have any kind of angle from that cheat super conk. Cheeky player right there, I like that. Right, it looks like bot. Decoy actually, uh, go, yeah, can rotate back south. Yeah, they might be trying to see if they can catch that light, take him out, make it a little bit harder for them to spot the cap, yep. being that they don't have their light anymore. All right, Takuto is rotating out with them. I mean, if this works, I mean, they're gonna have, uh, they're gonna have the overmatch on Mad Max. Yeah, like, I think this is honestly a great play because even if they do you know, all three of them get over towards that backside, start being aggressive. They have the HP to take them out. They're gonna force one of the heavies away and they have enough heavies, even though both IS-7s are low. If they get behind yeah. either of those guys, they just have to play it fairly smart and they can easily put in a lot of damage and keep them distracted. We are down to the two and a half minute mark. Oh, but Gambit's gonna get on the A cap. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. Uh, Taquito taking a dangerous pass straight across this field. If Destroyer comes up, man, I can't believe Taquito got a cross right there for free. JJ's crossing the open field unspotted. Huh? I'm not, I'm surprised how he didn't, oh, Gambit down oh. to 28. Yeah, I don't know if Gambit gets out of this. JJ may just, oh, oh. Chiefs gets him. JJ takes another hit. Hey, don't tempt me, thank you for the follow. JJ down to one shot. All right, we're down to a minute and a half. Now JJ's gonna get behind the Mortal Ferron and dip here. Ooh. But they they do know he's Blood there. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Bob goes down. All right, Felipe is getting folks out. Taquito's trying to come in and work on Destroyer. He takes a shot on the side from Rundi, but I believe bounced. Felipe down to a one shot. Felipe gets one more to Mad Max. Now they're gonna double team Taquito here. Probably a triple once Mad Max gets up. Shot in the butt from JJ. Oh, the ram from the E50M. Immortal Pharaoh did go down in the back. It is just dip left on 98 HP here. Looks like the legend gonna just go in. Put that old Super Conqueror to work here. Right <laughs> GG Dirt Flick. Right, over on uh, the decoy side, Bob coming out in the Marat with one kill, 3k. Uh, Takedo in the Chieftain, 2085. Dip in the I-7, one kill, 1726. Uh, Fleep in that Chieftain, 1214. Game in the CS, 1142. Immortal Pharaoh in the I-7, 495. And Airstorm in the LT. Uh, unfortunately, a zero getting focused out on cap. Over on uh, Face Clan, you have Madden the CS with one kill, 3084 damage. Destroyer in the Chieftain with 2,721. Nexus in the IS-7 with 2,684. Legend in the Super Conk with 2 kills, 1,791. MZ-5T in the STRV with 1,774. Jaja or JJ in the T-100? JJ? Yeah. JJ? Okay. Yeah, I just call him JJ. With uh, 2 kills, 1,403. And Rundy in the E50M with two kills, 1343. He's been really nice. making that tank work. 
Oh yeah, I do want to throw out uh, MZ five T in that strop. It had three K blocked as well. I didn't know. Uh, Mortal Ferron in his I seven had twenty seven blocked on that push. Did pass another twenty one hundred. Yeah, and uh, Nexus had twenty nine hundred also. That was uh, that was a lot of bounce shots right there. I mean, those guys were just tanking damage. <clears throat> Should uh, check out chat. They're having a little bit of a chieftain conquer debate. Oh, are they? Let's see. Where's this at? Cause I'm not seeing it. Um, scroll up. Uh, the Justin said Sheepton has too many weak points on the turret for me, but I still enjoy playing it. Uh, um, how many weak points? Blah blah blah. Three that I know of: Capola and the slab of two six eight uh, millimeter armor. There's actually two, like ten, five so. different weak points on the Chieftain turret. It's just some of them are very small, so they're hard to actually hit. But I think Super Conk's relatively similar because you have the gun mantle, the top hatch, the turret ring. If you have a big enough gun, you can pen right through the false armor. Certain spots, like both both turrets are penable. It's just hard to hit the shot. I could really start a discussion if you want. Uh oh. You gonna bring the Valor into it? No. I was just gonna say something something Do not do not say the Rhino. <laughs> I was gonna say the Rhino's a better no, Don't seven. even bring up your I seven Rhino debate. No. <laughs> Alright, what what about the fact that IS seven is just a worse EBR? Oh uh, <laughs> brain hurt. I played a game of like it was like months ago at this point. And I, w I was sick at the time, so I wasn't really feeling like playing. And they 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 wanted me in the light. I was like, dude, I can't play the light. They're like, the go is 7. I was like, but it's just a worse EBR. And then I ended up playing it like a light, just like running around and did really well. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think we were on defense and I just sent it down one line for no reason. <laughs> Had like three kills and like 5,000 damage. And I was like, I don't know how that worked. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. All right, looks like Decoy ready to go. Face Clan just discussing. We haven't got to see Noob Tube play a tank yet. Put Noob Tube in the game, guys. I just, I love, I love that name. If he plays, he has to play a Sturm. That's that's acceptable. Yes. <laughs> or an Avery. No wait, I think the Avery band. Yes, yeah, so it's got to be a Sturm. Or Artie. <gasps> oh, Artie was banned. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Maybe that's why he's not playing. <laughs> that could be a good point. Like, I think if uh, Decoy was playing Arnie, Rizul would be here. Yeah, that's true. I think Rizul was like the best Arnie player in the game. Or damn near it. Well, we've seen Taquito play Arnie. May not be Rizul, but it's an Arnie. Alright, here we go, side two of steps. The Spaghetti 65. I like that name. That's forever <laughs> what I will be calling the uh, Progetto. Alright, over on the decoy side, they're coming out with double sheep and double I7, double CS63, and the LT. Over on uh, Face Clan, you have a Chieftain, an IS7, two E50Ms, a CS63, a T100, and a Tarot. Nice, nice. Hey, Bobby Hawk, uh, Mean Girl Harley, welcome into the chat. I feel like I missed somebody else. Alright, so it looks like we're going to see a north push from Face Clint here. We'll see it not leaving anything. Eh, they might leave the Tehran a little far back from the looks of it, but not really going to leave any meds or anybody back. 
equally not really getting too aggressive in the south either. Just send an airstorm down there with Bob with a little bit of cover. Destroyer does get to double I-7 over tracks lit. Caught a little bit of air, Jack. Thank you for the follow. All right, so they get the double I-7 lit, and Face Clan already like, no, we're gonna we're gonna re-rotate now. We're gonna go back south. Very yeah, quick decision. With Airstorm there, it's going to be a really big problem. They're going to get spotted incredibly early. Jeff, yeah, these are great battles, man. I knew these uh, these two normally have really good back and forth. Yo, what's up, Sir Tubbins? Air Storm spots up both these DMs and gets spotted. Since let me discord. Oh, JJ takes a double hit. The IS7's starting to rotate out. Yeah, those IS7s, yeah. I'm actually shocked they haven't rotated a little bit sooner. JJ takes another round out of the CF to the back. Does go oh, down. JJ goes lead. down. Great focus fire on JJ. Now are they gonna send it over on Taquito here? Yeah, they're gonna full spin Taquito. But is this worth this? It's that's pretty much a three on four battle. Who is uh, all right, Chieftain of the Legends pushing up? They got Felipe down, but they lose Rundy. Looks like they're gonna start focusing out Bob next. That's Ron really needs to start hitting some shots, but I think he's busy with the light tank in the back. Uh, now Bob down to one shot. I think it's Bob. I mean, they got, they got a 3v1 on Gambit here. Mm, oh no, both Lake in the are... I-7s, yeah, they were way closer just off screen for me. Gambit might go down here because IS-7s are actually going to take out the CS. Yep. Chieftain lands a shot, LT covers, but they're going to have two full health IS-7s to contend with. Oh no! Okay, yep, destroyer to get it. I thought he shot, but he did not. Alright, Lake Trossi just going to full stand into Legend here. Destroyer gets shot down to one. Looks like Dip's gonna come try to help with the atrocity, let him keep his health. He, they're gonna need it with that Tron still kicking around back there. Screw you, did get a shot off, and he kind of distracted Dip there. He might, yeah, he allowed Legend to get one more shot into Electrocity. Electrocity now a one shot for the Tron. HP in the favor of Decoy only by a little bit. One Tron shot changes that. Tron actually gonna fall back out of that position. Thought they might leave him there and uh, try to use JJ to spot, but I mean destroyer. Uh, maybe a cat play now. Yeah, this is where it gets really difficult for decoy because <laughs> they don't have the greatest mobility compared to Tron or T100. They don't have the spotting or camo. Uh, there's the cat pressure. Like, Tehran's not really in a position to cover that T-100, though. Well, he, uh, he took a good wide. Oh, he does. He outlaps Dip, though. Can the Tehran get the shot on Dip? He's lining it up. I don't know if it's worth, because he should get spotted by Dip if he shoots. Oh, it goes to the track. He did not get spotted, though, but they know where he's at. 
Yeah, immediate pings on where both of them are. Atrocity is lit out in the distance. Oh, trying it up. Oh, he missed. Oh, what a blind oh, fire from the atrocity. Troyer goes down. Oh, oh no, another. All right, he gets lit. Dip with a good snap into him. All right, atrocity in a good spot with that rock. He has cover. Yeah, I think they're gonna just have Dip send it in first. Yeah. He's got the HP to tank a shot. Oh, he gets lit. Oh, it's double tap. And he is down. Oh man, that that was such a good game. That was very close. Get the scoreboard updated. Well, over on uh, Phase Clan, you have Legend and the Chieftain with 3,675 damage. Mad and the CS with 2776. M MZ5T in the Tehran with one kill, 2150. Destroyer in the T100 with two kills, 1926. Nexus in the I7 with one kill, 1043. Rundy in the E50M with one kill, 770. And uh, JJ in the E50M with 412. Nice. All right, and over on the decoy side, Gambit comes down on top in that CS with 3164. Taquito and the Chief in 2507. Bob, uh, 2034 out of the CS. Felipe and the Chief in two kills, 1980. Dip and Yai, seven, two kills, 1826. Electrocity, three kills, 1734 out of his I7. And Airstorm in the LT, 905. All right, so where are we going to end this? Arctic region. <laughs> hey, uh, Demon, I will be right back in like two minutes. All right. So, uh, how's chat? Because I'm, uh, alone. Thanks, are getting picked up, though. What's up? Uh... Oh, loving the Boschka, Bosch pick from my face. Can't say it's my preferred pick. I'd rather see a waffle, but I can see why the Bosch one is coming up. Now, see, we will be running the same set of maps for uh, Wind versus Raisin up next. 
Yeah, like the map lineup isn't bad. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Arctic. Ah, <laughs> uh, just <laughs> we saw some great battles in Arctic. I mean, Arctic. I'm, not saying I'm actually Arctic. becoming a bigger fan of. Like, I'm not um, saying more... it can't be good, but it's because of, like, the way the map is laid out, it's it, it's pretty obvious, like, there's only really two plays. Did you see the uh, semi-pro semi-finals last night? I did not. I was uh, playing D&D. &D. I actually watched some of it, though. I think that's, that uh, one pretty one. good. Yeah. All right, uh, over on the uh, decoy side, of the grant with double chiefs and yeah, seven the Marat, double CS three and ELT. Over on the uh, Phase Clan, you have a chieftain MK six or two of them, an IS seven, double CS sixty three, T one hundred, and a Foch. All right, yeah, T Bear, um, welcome to the stream, Cast. Good to see y'all. The other uh, semi pro semifinals is getting played tonight at I believe eight or nine. That I might end up yeah. streaming my own POV. You have a stream. What? You have a streamer. We do? Who? Yeah, Ace. Oh, Ace is actually coming to stream. Yeah, hopefully he's got a delay. Ooh, JJ and Airstorm do lock each other up in the center. Nobody takes damage. They are uh, pretty heavily firing that, uh, that uh, F, uh, F4 area, but nobody is up there. I think Takedo was just told to waste all of his ammo on that same spot. Just make sure nobody's up there. Shoot every ounce of hash you have in your tank <laughs> at that one spot. He has literally been firing the moment he reloads this whole time. I'll be really upset if it comes down to the end of the game and Takedo runs out of ammo. Oh no, I mean, I think it's like... I think he got the, I mean, it's a lot. 65, yeah, something like that. Alright, so the Trusty... I can't see if he's looking over, but he might have some shots in the Nexus here. Nexus does trap line fire. He knows where he's getting lit from. It's not the easiest position to blind fire because the bush is so big. Trying to look. Looks like Bob did try to sneak up there and sneak a clip off into somebody, but you know, Lacrosse is playing back a little bit. He's going up to peak now. He's not. Uh, he's not staying up long enough to take a shot. He's just peeking and backing up. Blind fires going in on the chieftain, one of them connecting. All right, caps at one minute. Looks like JJ is on his way around to go spot. Well, thank you, Hesh. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Ash. I'm not a very good commentator, though. Ooh, Latrosity Latrosity bouncing a shot. I, that's one of my favorite things to see. I don't know if anybody saw it a couple games ago on steps. Somebody, like, bounced off of the E50 turret. It's just one Ooh. of my favorite things to see is those rounds shoot up in the air. Ooh, dip kind of so kind of exposed. Yeah, but JJ spotted up uh, Airstorm off the cap, but took a lot of punish down to 200. Airstorm back on the cap. It looks like the Foch and Matt are starting to move up. The Foch gets spotted. Yeah, CS is moving up as well. I wonder if they're going to try to push around this corner. Bob is going to go over. He is going to get them lit. Probably get lit by Airstorm. Uh, 
don't think Bob has the angle from there. I think he's just trying to add that pressure of like, hey, push me. We're ready for it. Right. All right. Looks like JJ going to try to get out. Rundy pushing up the backside. All right, Fosh, CS are on the move. They are down to 13 seconds on the cap. Somebody's got to get a reset here. Airstorm's lit. Does get reset. Not, I mean, the dip. Dip. Oh, yeah. JJ gets uh, gets taken out. Airstorm's still not lit, but they are back to 20 seconds. Dip had to drop off the cap. Airstorm got to be really careful here. Now, Nexus should win this fight, but oh, they still he gets have lit. to worry about... Uh, oh, he comes off the cap. Bob went down on the backside. Did he get clipped? Yeah, he got clipped out by the Fosk to the CS. Or just the Fosk? No, I Mad Max just, just went down. I kind of missed what happened to Mad Max there because uh, I was looking at the Nexus dip I-7 battle. Yeah, he, he just got to the position to spot the cap and between Takedo, Gambit, and Lutrosity, he really had nowhere he could get cover from, so he just ended up peeking out and got took a shot from Takedo, yeah, I believe. He just got stuck out. HP's almost identical. A little bit of advantage to decoy, yeah. not much. Yeah, it's... One shot, basically, at this point, maybe two. Alright, uh, Airstorm playing around with the cap again. Now, Takeda pushing pretty aggressive general towards the B cap. He, uh, could find himself at a 2v1 here a second. Rundy, he's pushed up, gets lit. Plane he might be able to take out Rundy, though, because Rundy has no cover right now. Let's get one shot in. Oh, somebody got a shot in from up north. I believe that was Airstorm. Ooh, down to 10. Destroyer might try to push up on Takedo here. Yeah, he's he's trying to put a little pressure in here. Rundy yeah, just stuck to... where he's at. Like, this is an incredibly smart play from Decoy. Try to take more guns off the cap, make pressure somewhere else so that they can't keep all the guns looking at Airstorm. Yeah, Destroyer just going to stay the heck with it. We're going in right here. As long as Rundy gets even one shot in, Takedo does lose this fight. Forty on the cap. Legend taking a hit. They are getting really aggressive on Philippe. Yep, yep, yep. Try to get back up there. Now, ooh, that Chieftain and Vosh are hurting. Them. Like Trusty coming over to back them up. First storm dropped off cap, he might be shifting over towards Kikito. Watch oh, goes down. Watch is out. Alright, they're gonna push into the chieftain here. Now will Rundy Rundy might have shot you up. Rundy's got shot, but trust me, take one. Legend goes Double down. Looks like Gambit gonna push into Nexus here with probably Airstorm backing him up. Kido does win the fight with Destroyer. Alright, Nexus is gonna go down. Just one more to Gambit, but. Alright, so what do we got? We got Rundy left on 10 HP. He did kill Takedo. Did he? Oh. But now there's two-man cap pressure, and Rundy's already spotted. Yeah, Rundy's, yeah, he couldn't nearly get out of there. I don't think he uh, has a chance to win this fight, unfortunately. We're going up to uh, three to two. I think that's the first uh, attack we've seen win yet so far. It's, yeah, I think you're right. Defense won both the Sand River. Defense won yeah, both yeah. on steps, yeah. yeah so first attack to win. Alright, over oh, on decoy. Uh Takito and the Chieftain one kill, 3955. Uh Philippe in the Chieftain three kills, 3167. Gamma in the CS, 2104.
Electrocity in the CS, two kills, 1803. Bob with the Marat, 1160, or 1176, sorry. Airstorm in the LT, one kill, 1122. And Dip in the I-7, 10. And over on uh, FaZe Clan, you had Destroyer in the Chieftain MK6 with 2346. Nexus in the IS-7 with one kill, 2274. MZ5T in the FOTS with one kill, 1512. Rundy in the CS-63 with one kill, 1415. Legend in the Chieftain MK6 with 1157. Mad in the CS with 771. And uh, JJ wasn't like, able to really get anything working. He was just acting as a spotter, trying to keep the uh, pressure off the cap. We want to point out, though, Taquito and Destroyer were trying to go pound for pound with who could shoot more shells. How many Both shooting fire? over 30. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, last it... round here, guys. Now, this is a big thing. I didn't really... I don't think I talked about it earlier. I think both of these guys were tied at 4-1 for the season. So... Um, so they could tie you know, it out. They could tie it out, and they would both be 4-1-1. Which, uh, I really think, I'm not sure how bad ties would hurt these guys going into the end of the season. Um, I don't know the standings of everybody, but I, I don't feel like a tie is going to be very good for either of them. Like, that would really shock up the top top few spots because I think both these guys are in the top four top five yeah because like if the team that's fifth is you know three and two or you know they have a tie then that that puts them in the same spot as them so but the STB one I love this pick <laughs> well there's reason for it though because if you get that STB one up to that C3 spot that extra gun depression he has means he doesn't have to peek quite as far, and it's a little bit safer as a peek for him. I am seeing a lot of pings. Sorry, I got a whisper. I was checking it out. All right, so it looks like uh, Face Clean gonna kind of go north like Decoy did last round. Uh, slight change of IS-7 going towards Cap with two CSs. All three got spotted. Very interesting uh, CS IS-7 train here. Yeah, I'm kind of... Oh, see, Atrocity taking a hit from the IS-7. Alright, we're starting to see Decoy rotate those heavies around in the south. Now I'm conf trying to figure out what uh, I was planning to do here. Without a light, I don't know if they can get anybody on the cap safely. Well, we're going to see. Shots coming in from the STB, but they... Oh, there's somebody connecting. Ooh, Atrocity, oh, Atrocity. just getting farmed out. Down to six. six. HP. Oh, I bet he's screaming for leap back up. Let me get by. <laughs> Alright, they do have cat pressure on for the Marat. Oh man, you know, I put the prediction up about a winner, but what if somebody ties? Um, invalid prediction and give everybody their points back? I, yeah, that's what I'll have to do. I'll have to add in a draw. I didn't think about that. Oh god, then you make our chances less than 50-50, dude. 
I don't, I don't know what else to do. I didn't think about it, but yeah, if we draw out, I'll, I'll have to figure out. I'll just have to refund points. But oh, Bob I'm taking, taking hits. several big shots. He doesn't get JJ lit though. Airstorm down to half health. I think Bob got seriously lucky because he was tracked up on the top, and the Murat went on reload after that last All right, shot. Shots coming in on JJ. Both of them have missed though. I believe one was a hash round and he hit that box in front of him and uh, destroyed. There's the reset. Got hit, yep. Yeah, STB sitting exactly where I thought getting good shots into those chieftains in mid. Fire swing back on the cap. JJ is just trying to stay, uh, trying to be small. Yeah, and he's he's pre-aimed on where Bob's been peeking to get resets on him. We got Gambit, Mad Max, are pretty much face to face over here a little bit. Oh, Air Storm goes down. There's Bob. Oh, they got Bob. I don't know who just got a reset, or if he accidentally exited the uh, cap. Uh, I did not see. It looks like Mad Max is going to push in. Is he going to push into Gambit here? STB did get a shot. Gambit doing a good job to keep his health. Bad going to take a lot from Latrocity. Who is uh, the destroyer on a very wide flank out there? Yeah, he's been, uh, he was kind of halting the uh, Chieftain and Latrocity when they tried to do that backside push. 27 seconds on cap now that Rundy has gotten on the cap. And he gets off. I think him and Mad Max may be swapping out. Oh, JJ yeah. gets lit, takes a shot. Takes, there's just so many things happening right now. Alright, sure you're gonna push up, try to get behind these chieftains with uh Nexus and the Marat. <sighs> heavily, heavily, heavily health is favoring uh base clan here. Twenty three down uh, on the cap, down to twenty dip goes down. Gambit's peeking. Oh, they get Max out, but Gambit takes a shot from JJ. Takes a second Gambit shot from JJ. Ooh, double double shot. shot. Oh. Alright, looks like Takedo gonna try to push out Nexus here, but the Destroyer's coming in right behind him. I don't think they ever knew Destroyer was there until right now. Now, Nexus will takes probably go Nexus. down here. And it's gonna do what he can to help out Takedo. Yeah. He's gonna try, but uh, it looks like everybody's just gonna start pushing in on those one shot meds. Electricity went down. Yeah, but oh, still getting shots bounces. into the destroyer. Oh, Takedo's backing up a little farther. I don't know how steep that is to go into the water, but he slides it's... down. Destroyer gets a shot, gets the ram kill. And we end with a tie. We, we go to a draw. Dude, that was a hellacious battle from the beginning to the end. That's that's the top battle you want to see. I wish uh, I wish we weren't in any draw, but that was a great fight. <laughs> Richardo was like world of draws. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, both teams played incredibly well the entire set.